Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are doing the level 45 quest. And I will get Jin, which is the third and final mudra. So that is actually really nice. Katerina, I look into your eyes today, and I see a mind unclouded by worldly cares. The time has come. I would pass on to you the ancestral garb of the shinobi. Knowing that this day was close at hand, I have already made the necessary arrangements. With Karasu watching our every move, I cannot act freely. So I asked your friends at the Rogues Guild to send word to my village and arrange for the delivery of a set. Needless to say, this location must remain a secret. I have arranged for the goods to be delivered in secret to the De Nivelle checkpoint. A porter there will be expecting you. Subama and I must express our thanks to your Captain Jack. Be mindful in your travels, Katerina. We eagerly await your return. Uh, where is the... D d it's there. So I wish to go to Summerford. Is the... D because... I said so. Clearly that must make it right. So, um, a lot, every single one of the quests from, like, 30 onwards ha are pretty much all double quests, if that makes any sense. Like, the last one was essentially two quests, so even this one is two quests, and then the level 50 one is also two quests. It's really odd that they did that, because I don't think they've done that with any other of the class quests, but... Like, with this one, I can understand. They want to give me Jin, so I have it for the fighting. But then... They don't want to give me the armor right away, so I have to actually finish the quest. Which makes sense. That said, there's bound to be some form of fighting involved, because you never just get things given to you for free with no effort involved. Here's... I mean... You could argue this is not effort, these quests, but that's not what I mean. It is not 10 p.m. Why are you. Why do you keep switching off of local time? Look! Pack jackals! Packles. My stupidity knows no bounds. You see that? That was an Imperial Shadow. It kind of ruined what was to come, but I also knew it was going to happen. Expecting a shipment of the goods, you say? Now that strikes me as right curious on account of how a scraggly fellow came by not long ago to claim them. They were actually yours, you say? Well, ain't that a bloody coincidence? See, the fellow I talked to said that someone was like to come by saying just that. And if she did, he'd pay good coin for me to to gut her good and proper. I haven't put a bleed on him. Which I should have put the bleed on him. But what are you going to do? Have mercy! If I knew you were this strong, I never would have taken his money. And if I knew you were this incompetent, I would have put you out of your misery long ago. Well, if it isn't my favorite chirping little horse bird. Oh, come now, I'm not that scary, am I? I heard from a little bird in Doma of a shipment en route to Orzia in secret. I surmised, I'm quite good at that, you see, that it might have, have something to do with you and your friends, and I just had to know what was inside. Lo and behold, what did I find but a shiny set of shinobi garb? Why did you not tell me it was your name day, little chick? I would have bought you something far more fitting, like a sack of geishal greens. <laughs> 
No, I fear Brother Dim and Sister Swallow are mistaken. You are not quite ready for such an honor. But this is no fault of your own, after all. The student is only as good as her teacher. But today is your lucky day, little chick, for a true master has come to take you under his wing. Four crates scattered to the winds, each containing one of the items you seek, four of my shadows guarding each piece with their lives. A test where one failure will mean your death. Red Rooster Stead, Costa del Sol, Jijirudin's Trading Post, Camp Overlook. Claim that which you seek by your own hand, or die in the act. It is of little matter to me. If by some chance you survive, return here. You might just find a very special present awaits you. Now, shoo shoo, I say. So. It's going to have me do it in a specific order. So, the quickest way to get there is... Probably Costa del Sol, actually. That one's a bit of a toss-up. I'm gonna go with Costa del Sol and then run down. So he said four of his men were guarding it, but... Is that one each? Or is that four per target? Who knows? To be honest, though, this is the, uh hilarious little game that I would kind of expect from Kurasu in his obviously sarcastical and sort of theatrical nature. I suppose sarcastic is not really the way to describe him. Theatrical is more accurate, but his theatrics have a heavy helping of sarcasm in them. It's actually quite amusing. It's also kind of disappointing that he's the enemy. Because for anyone that's played Skyrim and knows of Cicero, I'm one of the few people that thought Cicero was actually amusing and didn't want to just shank him. But what do you do? I suppose that knowledge may not be not available because. Uh, my Skyrim playthrough got kind of foobarred along with a lot of other playthroughs. I suck at backing things up. So it's not quite in Red Rooster Stead, it's outside, and the name of the quest is apparently Tough Guys, which is odd. Wait, that said, I still don't have Jin. So he's going to teach me Jin? Is that what's going on? Weathered crate. Oh, but there's nothing in here but old goat milk. Rich and creamy old goat milk, to be sure, but old goat milk just the same. Pardon me, milady. Have you seen my old goats anywhere? Oh, it's you. Don't worry. This won't hurt. Much. Let's, let's get out of the plants. I want to see what's going on. And let's not ruin the field with our fighting. And you're dead, sir. You obtain a piece of ninja garb. A pair of ninja kyohan. Huh. So... It's not going to jack it for me and ruin my item set, is it? Because that would be disappointing. Costa del Sol. It is literally outside of Costa del Sol. This is acceptable. Especially with a teleport cost of 76 because it is a favorite location. That Costa del Sol music, though. Oh dear heavens, I must have fallen asleep while sunbathing. How can I ever thank you for rousing me from slumber? What say I slit your throat and we call it even, eh?
And you're dead, Matt. You obtained a piece of ninja garb. Is it legs? No. Gloves? No. Head? Yes. Oh, God! Uh, da 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 da. Jijirun's trading post. Upper Linoshka. Okay. Simple enough. Bronze Lake, please. And I forget where he said the last one was. But... We're not to that point yet, so it's kind of irrelevant. Anything unrelated to elephants is irrelevant. I went there. So, Boots head is the next one going to be legs or hands? Excuse me, Puller. I realize you're not who you appear to be, so could you please just pretend to shank me? What's with the dour la face, lass? Fish just not biting today? Maybe they know you're already a dead woman. Bastard Fuma shuriken to me. No, I don't want to help that guy with his fucking quest. I mean, I could, but I don't want to. Uh, Akama. Akama. So legs. Oh yeah, an overlook. Overlook should give me the gloves. Suspicious looking traitor. Whatever possessed me to set up shop in this ungodly place? I'm like to drop dead from the fumes before I single see a single gill in profit. Of course, if I bring your head back to Karasu, I'll be set for life. Well, that wasn't my shadow. I was Imperial Shadow I was attacking, but that's irrelevant. So I accidentally... Attacking that, the other guy attacked mine, which made fair fair. Tickle. Uh, four pieces of ninja gear. Looks fairly ninja. -y. Okay, so go back to the checkpoint and receive this special gift. I'm curious as to what it is. Is he going to teach me Jin? Or what? Because he seems to be more interested in training me than actually killing me at this point. Karasu is one of those people where it's deeply confusing because it almost seems like he's not even... Like, he's not even the master of his own destiny at this point. It raises the question as to whether or not, you know, he even wants to be Imperial anymore, because... Yeah. It's unfortunate that I will not get the chest piece until 50, but... Meh. I don't really need it. I've got my... Glamoured Colosseum Galeris. Oh, I should probably jump while I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. So I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be sets of two. Like, I'm pretty sure for 45 it said there was two 45 quests, but... This isn't shaping up like there is. 
like time wise and everything unless there's a very short one afterwards which is one of those showing me how to use new abilities thing if that makes any sense Wow, this is a uh, long wait. Katarina, I am relieved to see you safe. When you did not return, I feared the worst. Karasu did what? Forgive me, I never suspected he would target you on your own. It is clear now that his treachery knows no bounds. And yet, it is curious. Again, he chose to test you rather than dispatch you by his own hand. His intentions remain as inscrutable as ever. Hmm? What's this? A note. Karasu. Welcome back, Katarina, and hello to you as well, Aboro. I left the present I promised you on your doorstep. Such a shame that you weren't at home. The docks! To Tsubo uh, Subami! Bayakubu! Yome! We must hurry! Katarina, I realize it's far too early in your training for this, but the situation is grim. Our only hope of surviving the battle ahead is for you to learn the Mudra Jin. This is the Mudra that will allow you to harness the energies of your fellow man. It is also the final Mudra that I can teach you. This should give me access to things such as... Uh, 15% attack speed bonus. Your mind... Oh, crap, I missed what it said. Go on. Aburo! Aburo will teach you what he can in what little time you have. You have now learned Jin, the final mudra that I can impart to you. Combine it with the mudra that you have already mastered, and you will find four new ninjutsu techniques available to you. Time is short, so listen well. The first is Hayotan, Ice Release. Form Ten Jin or Chi Jin. The energies you summon will be channeled into a glacial flow. The second is Hutan, Wind Release. Form Jin Chi Ten or Chi Jin Ten. The winds will gather and swirl around you. Uh, I believe that's the attack speed bonus. The third is Dotan, Earth Release. Form Ten Jin Chi or Jin Ten Chi. The earth itself will move at your will. Finally, there is Suiton. Release of water. Form Ten Chi Jin or Chin Chi Ten Jin. Water will course and flow through you. But for how each technique, te technique, technique will avail you, I trust you will learn on the field of battle. Now, let us hurry. Subami is in danger. Oh, I'll hurry in a second. I just want to have a look-see at things. So, Hyotan. Ice damage, 140. Additional effect, bind. Nifty, nifty. Ton, attack speed, 70%, or 70 seconds, 15%, uh, Jin Chi Ten, so if I take Jin, and move it where I want it, then I should be able to go 3, 2, 1, Q, Ton. And that brings my cast speeds down pretty low, actually. Doton creates a patch of corrupted earth, dealing damage with a potency of 30 to any enemies who enter. Duration, 24 seconds. Heavy while on corrupted earth. Oh. Oh. So that would be... Ten Jin Chi. Ah, uh, that's a, that effect that I've been seeing people cast. Okay. And... Suiton delivers water damage a potency of 180, grants the caster Suiton. I don't, I don't know what that is, but I suppose I'm going to figure it out. And what is that one? Ten Chi Jin. So basically one, two, three with the way I have it set up. Very good. Oh, and that said, this is 24 seconds. It doesn't state the duration, but I'm assuming because it's technically a dot. It's of a higher potency than Raiton in terms of DPS damage, if that makes any sense. Jijinten. 
Chin. Yes, I said chin. <laughs> okay. So what is the water one? Because I'm curious as to what that is. Uh, Ten Chi Jin. Okay. Shuriken, a battle was fought here. I hear no sounds from within. Tsubame must be here somewhere. Bayakubu Bayaku has lost his words from the shock. He can tell us nothing. Come, we must find Tsubame. And quickly. The Kronos? She doesn't look dead. Your level is above 49, it would be synced. But it's not. Subame! It is but if it is but a flesh wound. <coughs> Aboro, look out! Come now, little swallow, say that it hurts, that you were scared, tell the dim one how I took great pains to see that you were fully awake for every moment of agony and terror. Karasu, th this time you go too far. Yes, yes, those are the eyes I wanted to see. Let the anger, let the hatred burn away any spot of doubt that remains in your heart. The fire in your eyes, resolve, born from the all-consuming flames of rage and passion. The look in your eyes that day, when you looked on as your friends, your countrymen, were massacred. Powerless to end the slaughter. Urgh, be silent! Be silent! Be silent! Be silent! Shibami, stand back. I shall slice this crow's tongue, then tear him limb from limb with my bare hands. Ah, such pure, unadulterated malice. Finally, you are an adversary worthy of my blade. The true shinobi, ever calm, dutiful to his master, presence of mind. Yes, the first few times we met, you fought with all the passion of a mokujin. Today, you stand before me as a man. You wanted a battle, and today you shall have one. No retreat, no reprieve. The defeated shall die like a dog, and the victor, the victor's tale will continue for another day. So theatrical. So what is it? Body is developed a light-bending veil of water, allowing use of actions normally requiring the hidden status. Oh! So it's situational, but very useful. You know, I really need to stop screwing up my combo, and I should really be attacking something that's not for us. Circle has been destroyed.
Heal me! Heal me, you rat bastard! Thank you. Um... Heal me again, please! Oh, God! Well then, that was... Not as it was supposed to be. Well, that... What, when did they add that? It never used to be that if you failed a duty, it would revive you outside the duty. So you could just start it again. It used to be you'd actually end up going back to town. Actually, you'd come out dead, and then you'd lay there and hope that somebody would revive you. That's what that's what it was. But then again, I played a year ago, roughly. Yes, yes, yes. We've heard all this before. Blah blah blah. Angry, angry. Uh, trolling, angry, angry. More trolling, more trolling. So the next circle was, what, here? Some in the next circle already. So there's not anywhere near as many bats this time. He's dead! Karasu is dead! Dead! De oh, okay, apparently he's not quite dead. He's just very close to dead. Karasu Redbeak. In the name of our elders, I take your life as divine retribution for your crimes. Your blood-stained beak will feast on the innocent no more. <laughs> Does he truly believe those words? <laughs> oh yes, this beak is stained with blood, this I do not deny. But I am not the leader of this murderous flock. 
I tire of your riddles, Redbeak. Give me one reason why I should not separate your head from your shoulders. Oh dear, what a pickle I find myself in. Now how can I put this in terms even the dim one can understand? I am not the traitor, you see. He is not I, and I am not he. You believe I was the only one who fled Doma? Are you sure? Absolutely certain. Did you see the bodies, the faces of all your brothers who fell that day? Think, think, think! I know it is not a strength of yours, but surely you remember one body maimed so badly that only the possessions could identify the man. And the face, could it even be called a face? Not but shattered bone and shredded flesh remained where once had been the proud features of... You lie! One more word, one more twisted, deceitful word, Redbeak, and I will, I will... <laughs> oh, Oboro, poor, sweet, stupid Oboro. How long will you continue to deceive yourself? You lie, Redbeak, as you always have. Did betraying our homeland not sate your thirst for treachery? That you now must drag our master's name through the mud? Answer me this, then. If you were not the traitor, then why did you flee the village that day? How often have I asked myself the same? Oh, how simpler things would have been if I had been as naive as you. But circumstances of Master Gekai's death did not sit well with me. If I left the village looking for answers, and found something far more interesting, our master himself, alive and well, in an instant his hand was at my mouth and his blade at my neck. A simple choice he gave me, follow him and live, refuse and die. I would like to say I weighed up my decision heavily, but the answer really was quite clear. Death is so final, after all, while life, even a life spent as an Imperial spy, holds so many opportunities. What's the matter, Dim One? Do you still find my tale hard to swallow? Oh, believe as you will, redemption means little to a dead man. You are going to kill me, yes? That is your mission, after all. Sworn in the sight of the elders, tradition and custom, and so on and so forth. Kendall keep Quay. When the time is right, he will come, and all will be revealed. I just thought I'd tell the one who's shown herself capable of listening to reason. The lights grow dim, the sun turned black in the sky, our hero fought, fought bravely even, but his chapter in this grand mummery has come to a close. Summoning his last breath, our hero speaks. Just promise me this, Oboro. Whatever your mission, should you fail, just don't go off dying. I know how fond you are of tradition, but this is a new era, and we are not our ancestors. Besides, such an end would just become a solemn, like, solemn youth like yourself. So live, and leave the dying to those who can do it in style. Yes, I may not have been the hero I thought I was, nor the villain you would have me be. But from beginning to end, I was me, and there is nothing I would rather be. Farewell, cruel world, and good bloody riddance. Wait, Karasu! Well then, that is one way to detonate oneself. Curious. Very curious. What can all this what can this all mean? It means people are confusing. And not entirely unexpected. But mostly confusing. What do you have to say, Boro? Karasu is dead. Our mission complete. 
yet you will forgive me if I am unsure how to feel about this turn of events. In any event, there is nothing more to be done here. Subame is wounded. Let us bring her home. Speak with Oboro. Oboro, not Oboro. There is no U on his name. Uh, it appears the stupidity of it all is slowly overcoming me, but... Hey, Kurosu's stupidity was fun. At least I think so. To each their own. When last we met, I was not myself. Pray forgive me. Master Oboro waits inside. The mission that brought me to Orzia is complete. Once Tsubama's wounds heal, we have no reason to sojourn further in these lands. And yet, if Kurosu spoke true, no, it simply cannot be. And that is the end of the level 45 quests. I will see you next time. Have a good day.